What is going on everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs coming at you. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome. If you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, any of the others, this is the channel for you. Get started right now for free. Hit that free red subscribe button down below and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified every time I make a new video. And uh, let's see if we can get 150 likes on this video and let's jump on into it. So um, I got this email here from Tom. So uh, I believe Tom has written in before and I believe I've made videos on his topics from the past. So everyone say thank you to Tom in the chat or the comments down below. So Tom says this, Pete, you may share my first name. Gotcha. He says, I was dashing one night and got home at like 10 p.m. And then about one hour later, I got a call from DoorDash. This guy from Offshore, he writes Offshore, but I think he's using voice to text. I think he meant this guy from Support was asking if I wanted to do a Wendy's order for a $2 bonus. Mmm. Okay. Now keep in mind, he got home at 10 p.m. and an hour later when he wasn't dashing, he got a call from DoorDash. He says, this was very strange. Please, please let me know if DoorDash should be doing this and, and if you have ever heard of this happening to someone before. The only reason I answered the phone was because I thought there was an issue with the delivery. So, yes, I have heard of this happening before. I've heard this uh, in the comments section of my video. And if I'm not mistaken, not too long ago, DoorDash dad uh, was talking about something similar. He was like on his way home to go and wrap for the end of the day. And uh, I believe his app was off. And he said he got a call from DoorDash asking him to do an order from wherever it was for an additional dollar or two. And he was like, no way, I'm going home. I'm done. That's out of my way. I'm not doing it. Um, this appears to be a more recent thing, uh, in the past, maybe 30 to 60 days from the time of me making this video. Um, and to answer his question, uh, let's see, uh, da, 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 da. please let me know. Please let me know if DoorDash should be doing this. And have you ever heard of this happening to someone before? So yes. I have heard it happening to someone before. Should they be doing this? Probably not. Why I think they're doing this is because perhaps maybe they're looking at whatever drivers were driving or what whatever dashers were most recently driving in that particular area or market. And it's very possible Wendy's, uh, you know, with an order that would probably be sitting around, that would probably be getting passed around. If they're trying to get it picked up and they're offering an additional $2 bonus, it sounds to me that they're desperate to get that out to somebody because chances are that's been rejected over and over and over and over again. And maybe the customer's calling and complaining, where's my food? And then they're trying to assign a dasher. To me, it sounds like it was a no tip DoorDash order. You said it was around 10 p.m. when you got home. It's about 11, past 11 o'clock. You said about an hour later. So it was a late night order. Someone maybe was drunk or something and they put it in order, didn't tip. Uh, and maybe it was a larger order and it, and it was just a bad payout and maybe it was going a far distance. So they try and sweeten the deal and they try and see if there's any dashers that were just recently online, uh, whether they're on a dash now or a scheduled dash. And they're probably saying, well, this person has a decent track record. You know, they, they, their completion rate is good. I'm sure they look at their ratings and they, you know, contact you outside of you working just to see if you're interested. Should they be doing this? Probably not. Is it annoying? Yeah, it's annoying because if you've been offline for an hour, why would you go online just to take an order that's probably maybe like a five or six dollar payout? It doesn't make sense. It sounds to me like it's a sign of desperation is, is really what it is. Because again, I said um, earlier that DoorDash dad had this happen to him and he was like, hell no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother myself with that. So Drivers, dashers, everybody in the chat or the comments down below. Have you had DoorDash reach out to you to pick up an order after you were done dashing or when you were on the way home and they were like, hey, we'll give you an extra $2 to pick it up, okay? 
it's nice of them to offer an additional two dollars but if someone's offline they're they're done for the day you know but again i guess uh you can't blame them for trying you know so in my opinion no I don't think DoorDash should be calling drivers or dashers uh, after the fact when they're offline, when they're probably home or doing something else. I don't think they should be doing it. I don't think it's like against a policy or anything for them to do it. But my my thing is this. If you are offline, if you are not working, there's probably no reason for them to reach out to you. They probably shouldn't. So I'm going to, you know, I'm going to say that. I'm going to say no to that. So Drivers, let me know your thoughts in the comment or in the chat uh, down below, what you guys think about it. Um, and of course, if you guys ever want to send me anything, email it to pay to drive stories at gmail.com. And of course, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, first and foremost, welcome. Uh, leave a comment in the chat down over there or in the comments saying first timer so I can respond and welcome you to the channel. If you've been here before, leave a comment over here in the chat or the comments down below saying before so I can welcome you back. And I do want to take this time to thank all of our patrons over at patreon.com slash paid to drive. These people give a little something every month and they are fantastic. So uh, every time, you know, I do a new video, I will shout you out. When you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. And as a plus, you also get access to send me a message directly through Patreon, which I usually respond within an hour. So um, let's jump into this. So when you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We've got Lee Peacock. We've got Agus, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Richardson, Heidi Barnes, Kurt Paul, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, uh, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Ginny Thomas, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Terrence Pacheco, and of course, Valerie Brown. Huge shout outs to all of you. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Really appreciate it. And of course, make sure to download the free gas app called Get Upside. Link is in the description down below. How it works is you go to whatever gas station is in your area, you pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside gas app. And within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links down below. Make sure to download it. And of course, if you want to get a t-shirt just like this one or many others like it, go to paytodrivestore.com. Everything's on sale. Great prices. Everything's on sale. Paytodrivestore.com. Get your hoodies and goodies and all that good stuff. And of course, if you made it to the end of this video, leave a comment saying end 118. End 118 lets me know you made it to the end. Congrats, you made it. You're like those people who like to click out, you made it to the end. And of course, subscribe down below, hit the red subscribe button, turn on all notifications so you're always notified when I make a new video. Hit the like, let's get 150 likes. And until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on what channel, everybody? Paid to drive and paid to drive vlogs. Take care, everybody. See you on the next one. Drive safe. Peace.